everybody, it's Meredith at Cryptocurrency Investing, and today I'm very excited to bring to you the co-founder of Nuggets.Life, Seema Johnson. She is on today to talk to us about what Nuggets has to offer. So Seema, if you don't mind giving us a little bit of an introduction um, into your history in business and how you became involved with Nuggets and what exactly Nuggets does. I'm Seema Kindu Johnson. I am co-founder and COO of Nuggets. Uh, previously to joining Nuggets, my background is at Skype, Microsoft, where I led go-to-market globally, launching products in emerging markets. And then previously to that, for the last 18 years, I've been launching products right from initial idea right through to commercialization. Um, I joined the Nuggets team about a year and a half ago, uh, where I am responsible for all of the operational running and the delivery of the product um, alongside Alistair. Um, we've been in development for a year and a half, and we've developed a blockchain platform that provides a single biometric tool for login, for payment, and for ID verification without sharing or storing your data. So what's important about that is that not even Nuggets has any access to your data. Wow, that's incredible. You definitely sound like you have an extensive history um, in business and product launch. So um, that's, that's incredible. But um, with Nuggets, what were some of the problems that you identified that led you um, to realize that there was a much needed blockchain solution like you guys offer? Yeah. So right now, all of us, you know, whenever we transact online, um, we give our information, right? So you create an account. We like online shopping. We have got username and passwords out there. We have got our financial credentials saved across probably 100 online plus locations where we store and share our information. And the problem with this is, is that all of this information is being stored in these individual honeypots of data. Um, and when, there's, when one of those is compromised, like we're seeing, you know, we've all seen the headlines, whether it's Equifax, Dropbox, LinkedIn, Yahoo, these are very, very large organizations that spend multi-billions on cybersecurity. So one of the things that we realized was that there was no one comprehensive solution that protects our personal or our financial data when there is a breach. And so we realized this way of keeping data in these individual honeypots just was a totally broken model. So Alistair, a couple of years ago, had his card used fraudulently. It took two weeks for the new car to arrive. He then had to go and change it across every single location where, you know, net before, before Netflix stopped working, then Amazon delivery stopped arriving. And he just realized there had to be a better way, right? We all love shopping online. We all need to exist online. But how can we do that, ensuring that we retain our privacy, we're secure, um, and if there is a data breach, it's not such a rigmarole that you have to go up and change all of these, you know, every single location. So that's where it was actually born from. Right. Yeah. I mean, I definitely agree that there is a need for something like that. I was personally affected, um, you know, by the tar a while back Target had a huge data breach. Yeah. Um, I was affected by that. I was also affected by the Equifax data breach. Um, as, as many, many were. And so <clears throat> more and more, it seems like, especially within the cryptocurrency community, people are becoming aware um, that there is a massive problem, but it's like, what do we do? We don't have a choice. These are services that we have to use in our day-to-day -day life. And, and we don't have a say-so whenever they're kind of distributed, you know, our information, our login, all that information is distributed across all these different platforms. So what kind of um, technology are you using in addition to blockchain technology to, to keep it secure and actually have something that would function in that way? Absolutely. So what we're using is we're using blockchain and we're not a product that just, you know, we stumbled across blockchain, actually. So when we were investigating how do we deliver this solution, there were a couple of things that we needed to be able to deliver with the technology. We needed to ensure zero knowledge storage. So the reason for that is that we didn't ever want there to be a backdoor access. So prior to discovering blockchain, we were actually looking at uh, servers in Switzerland because that was the only place we could ensure zero knowledge storage, but that was more because of regulation and not technology. So we actually explored lots of other technologies 
uh, prior to finding blockchain. And then it really was an epiphany moment because it not only gave us the zero knowledge storage, it gave us to ensure there was no admin access or root level access to the information. And that's incredibly important for delivering a solution like Nuggets. But it also gave us the immutable ledger because part of our solution, and when I talk about that, is ensuring that every time you carry out a transaction, whether it's a login or a payment, that it happens successfully and that you have access to that information and no one else does. So we needed the immutable ledger to be able to do that. And then we needed the high level of encryption that is inherent in the blockchain to be able to deliver on nuggets of pieces, you know, nuggets of information that are encrypted um, and then wrapped in the blockchain um, where the only person with a private key is the individual. So it was actually perfect for our solution. So we use blockchain, we use Ethereum, um, and we have also got a private part of our solution as well, because we obviously need to be able to guarantee uh, transaction speeds when you're talking about delivering an e-commerce solution. Right. Yeah. I actually, that was going to be my next question. If you were going to be incorporating yeah. some privacy, you know, some off chain, is it off chain solutions or are you using a private blockchain to tie that in or is yeah. it a secret? <laughs> yeah. So the thing is we are using a private blockchain um, and we have built, so basically what happens is, can I explain the journey for you? Sure. Absolutely. Well I would love that. No. Go ahead. Okay. Brilliant. So you download the product and when you download the product, the way you sign up is with your biometrics. So it's whatever biometrics there are on a particular device, whether it's iOS or an Android device. And then that writes a private key. OK, and that's the only private key. Then you upload, then you take a picture essentially of your ID. You then do a moving, you know, moving picture of yourself. It's like a moving selfie to make sure that the picture on the ID matches with your face. And then what you do is you take a picture of a credit card or a debit card. We check all that information. We also um, do a forensic check on the card. And then all of your information is encrypted first on your mobile device. But then again, once it goes to the blocks within the blockchain as well. And all of this is then covered with another privacy framework that ensures that you, no one else can see any of the information that's in there. So, you know, because obviously we need to protect the user, but we don't have any backdoor access to that. And then what happens is when we integrate with merchants, we've developed APIs that work with a lot of your, um, you know, your existing type e-commerce platforms like Shopify, Magento, because one of the important things about Nuggets is, is that we are aiming at a, the mass market. Mm -hmm. You're, you know, it's everyone that shops online and that means Nuggets to be really valuable to them needs to be available across their shopping locations. And a lot of those sites are built on Magento, Shopify, um, all their marketplaces. So that's how we work with the merchants as well. And then what happens is your information is all tokenized. When you authorize, whether it is a login or a payment, that information is tokenized and only the minimum amount of information goes to the, to the relevant um, organization. So if it's a merchant to carry out a uh, payment, then the payment information goes to the payment gateway, but then the merchant knows that's been carried out. If it's logistics information on your parcel being delivered, then that goes directly to the logistics um, team versus going to everyone on the chain. And I think that's really important about the Nugget solution. Definitely, definitely. Wow. It sounds like you guys just have like an all encompassing solution <laughs> to a problem that has, has literally been plaguing, uh, you know, the, the internet since we become like online consumers. So yeah. um, do you have any merchants that you or any dip, any, any partnerships with anyone that you've locked in or is that information publicly available yet? You still kind of in uh, the no, work with that? Uh, well, obviously, you know, we're, we're a team that has been going for a year and a half, two years. I mean, development for a year. We as a team have been going for two years now. So we were lucky enough to be selected in the UK uh, as part of the UK Financial Conduct Authority Sandbox, where they select very innovative products for business and for consumer. So we've been testing the actual product with consumers since the summer uh, last year. And then we've been 
obviously building out the product and all of those things, but we have just recently partnered with JD.com. Um, and that is the third largest internet business. So we're, we're essentially uh, enabling login and payment um, across their network. It will first start off with a subset of users, we'll test it, make sure everything's working appropriately, and then we'll roll that out. And then we're also in discussions with a number of very large telcos in the, in the US, but also globally. Um, a number of banks around enabling their merchant services because what happens is the banks don't just provide you and I a bank account they also provide retailers bank accounts and they also provide merchant services so the payment gateway and all of those sorts of things so it's you know they proactively try to find solutions that safeguard not only the merchant but the consumer um, so we're also in discussions with them I think the one thing that's quite um, it, I suppose is that we just want to make ensure that we only release information about these partners when we've gone through the right type of compliance and all of that stuff and it's just not in our interest uh, or in our best interest to announce things before we've gone through all of those so um, yeah hopefully soon we'll be announcing a few other big ones yeah awesome good deal and so um, just to, to be crystal clear, what is the functionality of the Nuggets token on the platform? Right, okay, no problem. So how Nuggets work? So I think I've made it clear that, you know, it's login, it's e-commerce payment, and it's ID verification. And please check out the product video that's on our website, because I think the beauty of Nuggets is, is that it's a very easy to use product, right? So whether you care about your privacy and security, we all shop online. And I think when you see the product, you become a convert thinking, oh my God, that's so easy to use. Why wouldn't I use it? So what happens is we've got two. So on the consumer side, when you download the product, when you log in, when you pay, when you, ver when you also verify identity, but also you refer, we reward you with nugs so our nugget token so you get re rewarded in nugs and you can accrue those nugs um essentially like loyalty but you so you could essentially buy a flight and uh, instead of only being able to use that with virgin or with a particular airline you can actually accrue you know accrue the air miles but you would also accrue nugs at the same time that you can either buy another flight or you might choose to, to buy a coat for example so i think that's that's amazing about nuggets is that you can use them within the network um, and you can part pay for goods or you can fully pay. And then on the merchant side, the reason why merchants and organizations are integrating with us is nugget solves a number of really key issues for them. Mm -hmm. So I'll start at the top. Like, so we all know data is in a critical state. This way of keeping data is just not working. So there's that. The other issue is, is that, you know, merchants and retailers and partners lose a lot of money to fraudulent chargebacks. I mean, 42% um, of chargebacks are fraudulent. So that's a big number. And then you've got false positives there on the rise, and that's even bigger, right? So you've got identity and credit card fraud. Let's say that's 16 billion. 118 billion a year is lost to false positives. And what that is, is us using our card online, and we've all had this, and the system decides that it's not going to accept it that day. So they're on the rise as well, and that money hits. I mean, that's loss of revenue to merchants. Then you've got regulation is tougher. You know, in Europe, we have GDPR. In the States, you've got FTC. But it essentially means that if there is a data breach, um, there's now huge fines. Some of those fines are up to 4% of your gross revenue which is bonkers, right? So the thing is, so we've got a compelling proposition to business. Um, so once you enable a product like Nuggets, you know who your users are, you know who's shopping with you, you know that they're not going to abandon the basket because, you know, over 40% of people abandon baskets in a forgot password loop or when they have to get their credit card information out. But imagine having your login credentials with you because they're attached to you. Um, and imagine having all of your payment information with you, whether it's crypto or it's your existing debit and credit card. So that payment's more likely to go through. So will you be able to use... Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, 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 so I was gonna explain. So the utility for the merchant mm -hmm. is essentially they buy nugs mm -hmm. and instead of transaction fees, they purchase nugs so 
So that's how the system feeds itself. So you've got merchants being rewarded and so you've got, sorry, consumers being rewarded and merchants basically paying for the use of the product. Got and it. that's what creates the economy. Yeah, I mean, you it's, it is definitely a viable solution for merchants and for um, the yes. customers. And I imagine on the merchants end, it'll probably be just as simple, an API plug-in to whatever existing uh, way they're using to conduct their payments and, and it's done. So that's really, really awesome. Um, are you in, y'all are in pre-sale right now, correct? Or are you in your that's main? Right. So we're in the pre-sale right now. Um, and then we go into a public sale, um, at the beginning of May. So on the 1st of May. And so, um, our, I know that U S citizens more likely than not are not able to contribute to the token sale. Is there anyone else that's excluded? Yeah. So obviously with the ruling on the SEC and all of that stuff, we were, um, we did have token purchases in the U S but a month ago we made a decision to give that money back. Mm -hmm. Um, so obviously we incredibly, you know, we value our, our U S supporters massively. So that's a really big deal to us. Um, and then obviously, you know, China, um, in, is unable to participate. Uh, neither is Canada. Um, and then obviously everywhere where there's sanctions in place, right. but they're the main, they're the main jurisdictions. Okay. Yeah. But the good thing about that is that um, even though we can't participate in the ICO, we'll still be able to use the platform um, and purchase the tokens uh, post ICO. By the way, when is the platform going to be ready? I think I saw something that's pretty amazing, um, but yeah. I would not let you go ahead and say that. No, no, no. Brilliant. And you know, Meredith, I want your feedback. You'll be one of the first people getting our alpha email yeah. in the coming weeks. So yes, we, we launched the alpha at the end of this month. So we're incredibly busy, right? So we are building out the product. We, we, we're doing a limited release of the alpha just because the team is so incredibly busy um, getting both platforms sorted, but also integration with uh, vendors as well. So we're doing a limited release um, of the alpha that happens at the end of the month. And that'll be almost like a staggered release because we're not making it available publicly it's invitation only to those that have signed up on nugget stop life so please do um, and it's a limited number so what we're doing is over the coming weeks you'll receive an email for us if you've signed up and it will go through how you feed back how you work with our head of qa and our product team to ensure that our product is um you know the product that we all want to use on a daily basis yeah i think it speaks volumes whenever um an ico actually has a product that they can deliver either prior, at least an MVP prior to the ICO or soon thereafter. So um, that's exciting and I'm looking forward to using it. I definitely, I definitely will be, uh, you know, uh, on the lookout for that email from you guys. But what, what is the total supply for Nuggets? So the total supply is 10 billion, but what we're doing in the sale um, is 3.5 billion and what where that's been informed from so you know um, six months ago we were we were largely a self-funded team you know we'd really planned to do this we'd been thinking about nuggets um, and it was actually called nuggets and we you know um, at the time you know even three years ago we were thinking about doing this and we all as a team came together and went right we need to do this so we were self-funded team for a long time and then we also put together like five-year financials and the five-year financials you know were around product development operationalizing nuggets and actually launching in a number of really big key markets and we would need just over 30 million usd to do that over four years mm -hmm. so that's how our token sale was essentially you know how it was how it was informed how that budget was informed so the total token supply is 10 billion um but then we've got 35 percent of that that is will be sold to fund the platform and commercialization of nuggets and how that was informed is that you know obviously two three years ago when we all came together as a team we were self-funded for a long time and then we realized actually we needed to be able to get some funding in place and actually early advocacy of the platform to get it over the line so the token sale made absolute sense to us so we had five-year financials and over that time we would need just over 30 million usd to be able to commercialize and also launch nuggets in a few key markets um, 
and that essentially informed um, our token sale raise. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, definitely. I think that uh, I love it whenever I do an interview with someone and they actually uh, know what their funding is going to go to and they haven't just like pulled some random number out of their head. And I think for the, the type of platform that you're creating and the way that you want to implement that globally, um, $30 million is like <clears throat> definitely very, very reasonable. Um, so is there anything else that you would like to add to let anyone know that maybe we didn't touch on um, or any just general sentiment for anyone who's watching? Um, yeah, I mean, the thing is, the way we're keeping data now is totally broken, right? So it's incredibly vulnerable. We're saving it in funny pot silos of data, um, databases. And the issue with that is, like I mentioned before, I, you know, when we started, is, is that these locations are being breached and are being compromised. And ultimately, us as consumers, the cost gets you know, passed on to us as consumers. And I really think now is the time to take action um, and ensure that we all take back control of our data. So that's really what I'd like to leave you with. Um, and again, you know, please, if you have any questions about us as a team, about the product, um, about anything, please, you know, participate in the conversation, at, you know, on Telegram. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and everyone, I will be leaving those links um, underneath the video. We'll have Telegram, their website, um, and any other relevant information and links so that you guys can get in touch. But Seema, I'm really, really excited about Nuggets personally, even though I can't do the ICO. If I could, believe me, I would. Um, but I, I wish you guys success and thank you so much for coming here and sharing uh, the information with us. Yeah, no, an absolute pleasure and thank you for the time. All right, have a good one.